20th century has produced a new breed of man, a man on the move, curious, alert, with his eyes on the stars and his feet solidly on the ground, living enthusiastically for today, but working hard to turn dreams of a better world into tomorrow's reality. This is his century, fast moving, full of action and discovery, and this is his city, a modern, vital 20th century city in the heart of an area that is alive with excitement and growth. This is a city in which today's new breed of man can actively pursue his work and his play to the full limits of his capacity. This is Orlando, Florida, the city beautiful in Orange County, action center of one of the fastest growing states in the Union. The Orlando area is Jim Carlton's home by choice, not by chance. He made that choice the very first time he visited this area. Here in the thriving young city of Orlando and the beautiful rolling countryside and picturesque communities that surround it, he saw reflected the kind of life he wanted for his family, a life in which meaningful work can be healthfully balanced with sheer fun. Jim saw something else here, too, something that was very important to him as a father and a husband. He saw opportunity the kind of opportunity that meant a promising future here, not just for himself, but for his children as well. He saw this opportunity reflected in the dynamic, constantly expanding business and industry of the area. Like ancient Rome, all roads, at least in the state of Florida, lead to Orlando. The area is located in the very heart of the Sunshine State, only a couple of hours drive over modern, streamlined highways to any metropolitan Florida city. Orlando is a modern, bustling metropolis. Its many impressive buildings house large insurance companies and other prime industry attracted to the area because of the city's critical location. This same critical location, plus a local government attuned to business and industry, is fast making Orlando a major convention center. And the city's proximity to Cape Kennedy is also attracting much space-oriented industry to the area all of which adds up to a picture of growth and expansion as the city continues to build its well-rounded business community. The Martin Marietta Corporation selected the Orlando area as the site for a $30 million plant for the development of missiles, communications, and defense systems, and other space-age equipment. The plant employs over 8,000 people and is one of the largest employers in the state. Orlando is also the home of the international offices for Tupperware Home Parties and Vanda Cosmetics. Other products produced in the area run the gamut from pleasure craft to frozen orange concentrate. And of course, we must not forget that the Orlando area is located in the very heart of Florida's fertile citrus belt. The picturesque groves of central Florida supply a large percentage of our country's annual citrus crop. Like today's new breed of man, today's modern companies are on the move too. Orlando's active McCoy jet port is serviced by leading commercial airlines providing regular non-stop jet service to major cities throughout the country. The jet port's expansive facilities also serve Orlando's McCoy Air Force Base. And just five minutes drive from downtown Orlando is the Herndon Municipal Airport, one of the most modern and best equipped private and corporate aviation facilities in the country. The availability of choice industrial land is also attracting new industry. Four attractive industrial parks are currently in operation, and others are already established, awaiting activation as the need arises. Walt Disney, a man of unique vision, saw the unlimited potential of Central Florida and set into motion plans for a new Disney world here that staggers the imagination. Bulldozers and land-taming equipment have carved out a 43-square-mile parcel of raw land. The site of an experimental city of the future and an all-new amusement theme park destined to outshine the original Disneyland. Working typical Disney magic, the new park will join the many other Central Florida attractions and crown the Orlando area as the family entertainment center of the world.
Disney World and expanding industry ensure a sound future for the Orlando area. But the Carltons are also concerned with another future, that of their children. Jim and his wife know that their children's future depends on the kind of education they get today. Before moving, they investigated the educational climate of the area thoroughly and found that Orange County has an outstanding public school system, enthusiastically supported by the community. Jim and his wife found modern, well-designed school buildings, equipped with up-to-date books and lab equipment, and staffed with capable, dedicated teachers, made more effective by the cooperative efforts and backing of the community. They discovered the Orange County school system not only provided for the average child, but also took into consideration the needs of the exceptional and the gifted child. The Orlando area boasts two fine junior colleges, and the new Florida Technological University, just 11 miles northeast of the city with its modern 1,200-acre campus, is destined to become one of the outstanding scientific schools in the country. The area is also the home of beautiful Rollins College in Winter Park, the oldest liberal arts school in the state. To the people of Orange County, education is not an incidental, it's a way of life. In keeping with this concept, the area offers a first-rate graduate engineering facility, along with other continuing education programs for adults. Orlando's modern library is more than just an architectural conversation piece. It is one of the best equipped libraries in the country, with comprehensive collections fulfilling both the educational and the recreational reading needs of the entire community. The area's well-equipped science museum offers an imaginative variety of scientific displays and programs to stimulate the minds of young and old alike. Orlando's proximity to Cape Kennedy and the area's numerous space-oriented industrial firms enable the museum to keep its enthusiastic young patrons completely up-to-date on space-age development. Jim and his wife also discovered that living in Orlando gave them the opportunity to raise their children in a spiritually rich community, a community in which people belonging to over 200 religious denominations lived, worked, and worshipped side by side, with mutual understanding and respect. Orlando's Lock Haven Arts Center, which continually displays a variety of some of the finest exhibits in the country, is only one example of the area's enthusiastic support of the arts. The main art event of the year is the Winter Park Sidewalk Art Festival, held on one weekend every March. The festival attracts visitors and participating artists from across the nation. It was originally started several years ago by a handful of local artists and only 90 exhibits, and has grown until in recent years it has featured as many as 300 artists and over a thousand exhibits representing many forms of arts and crafts. There is no doubt about it. Today's Winter Park Sidewalk Art Festival fully accomplishes the project's original goal, to encourage the appreciation of art in all forms, in people of all ages. For Jim's wife, moving to Orlando has meant a new attractive home and more time to pursue her favorite pastime, shopping, in one of the area's many modern, convenient shopping centers. Regardless of what her needs are, whether she's shopping for food or for furniture, or even for high fashion clothes, she has found that she can satisfy all her shopping needs quickly and comfortably just minutes from home. Orlando also means exquisite flowering bushes and trees bursting forth in an ever-changing array of colors as one season inconspicuously passes into another in this city so appropriately called the City Beautiful. At night, Orlando can be quiet, peaceful, or it can be exciting. Looking for a special night on the town? In search of good food or good entertainment? The city's nightlife offers something for everyone. There are fine restaurants, theaters, supper clubs, nightclubs. The thrill of a highlight game. The 
excitement of dog racing. Or perhaps an evening of good music. The 70-piece Florida Symphony Orchestra, the only all-professional symphony in the state, makes its home in Orlando. But for Jim, his greatest enjoyment now is living and working in this area, where his once coveted two-week Florida vacation has become a daily way of life. He cherishes most these quiet moments he spends with his family around their own swimming pool. And there are those peaceful afternoons when he and his son go fishing or sailing or just take a lazy stroll along some little lake, practically at their doorstep, and quietly discuss the many things fathers and sons so seldom have time to discuss. Of course, being an ardent sports fan, Jim is happy that his adopted hometown is also the home of the nationally televised Tangerine Bowl football game. And both he and his son appreciate the season of spills and thrills provided by Orlando's own professional football team, the Panthers. when a young man's fancy lightly turns to thoughts of baseball, Jim and his son eagerly follow the activities of the Minnesota Twins, who make their spring training headquarters in Orlando. And they are both loyal boosters of the community's own baseball team, the Orlando Twins. Any season is the right time for Jim to practice his favorite sport, golf. The nationally famous $115,000 Citrus Open Golf Tournament, held annually in the Orlando area, gives him a chance to pick up some pointers from the pro. Every year, the tournament attracts golfing greats. Julius Burrow. Arnold Palmer. And Doug Sanders. Not to mention thousands of golfing enthusiasts from all over the country who come to watch these masters practice their putting and driving artistry. Jim is so proud of his adopted community and all that it has to offer that he helps to tell the world about it as a member of the Orlando area's very active Chamber of Commerce, an aggressive organization of dedicated men and women striving to make this a better community in which to live, work, vacation, and retire. An active life, a good life. That's what Jim and his family discovered in the Orlando area. A life rich in cultural benefits. Rich in pleasure. in promise. The promise of an exciting, meaningful future as a part of the growth and development of this dynamic young area. Orlando, the action center of Florida.